My name is Stephanie Canan and I am a Purple Status Presenter with Unique and I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial, something I learned from a party that I was recently hosting for um, a gal who is a representative for a clothing company that sells um, clothes on Facebook. Um, I decided to host this party. Her party went really, really well and she hosts like 10 parties a week and has huge success on Facebook and I thought, you know, I have time to learn from this lady. I want to know what her trick is. So I am taking her techniques and I'm applying them to my business this year. One of the things I hear oftentimes from the presenters on my team and I see myself is when the hostess is involved in the party, the party rocks. When the hostess isn't involved in the party, the party stinks, you know, and she goes into the miss missing persons registrar and you can't find her and she's not posting and you're sending PMs and it's really, really frustrating as a presenter because we're putting our heart and soul into her party. Where is she, right? So this is a technique that I think we might be able to use to really kind of streamline um, our parties and also make it easier to be able to host, you know, three, four, five, six parties at a time. Um, the way that she does it is she puts her hostesses into this group that she's formed, which I'm going to show you in a minute, on Monday, and then um, runs the party with them. She actually posts and they post until Sunday. So it's a seven-day online party, um, and then she takes them out of the hostess group, and on Monday she'll add the new set of people that are hosting the next week. Um, she reminds them that they have three extra days to continue to collect orders to build their rewards and she will post in there you know a kind of countdown reminders or last call reminders um, in in the party um, once that seven days is over still so don't just walk away make sure you're you know kind of closing it down but you don't need the hostess um, to kind of follow your script any longer so I feel like this is a great way to give our hostesses a little bit of expectation um, to be really clear with them on what they're trying to earn because some of them look at that party chart and they're like okay, this means nothing to me. I have no idea what I'm trying to earn. Um, and what they're going to get at the end of the party. And also to set some expectations. I need you to post once or twice a day. You know, this is a team teamwork effort. Um, so I feel like these kind of hostess posting groups could really benefit um, our business um, as presenters. And it can help set really realistic expectations of what you need from the hostess. If the hostess runs the other direction and doesn't want to do any of it, the party probably would have been a flop to begin with. I would definitely still put your full effort in and go ahead and post you know for her and also put your videos in because we know videos sell product um, and you guys should be posting at least a video every day um, in your parties and make them you know to yourself and focus on the things that you're good at doing and the, the things that you're good at giving tutorials on um, but having the hostess post makes sense on Facebook because I'm gonna close this out sorry um, because it Facebook will send those algorithms and send those posts to their friends and family. We post in there and it, Facebook doesn't do that for us because we don't know those people. We're not friends with them yet. We want to make sure we're becoming friends with them, but we're not friends with them. And this is just a great way to get the hostess involved and make it easy for her. She can copy the wording and paste. And then once your hostess hits her $200, her minimum that she needs to get rewards, congratulate her with all of the other hostesses in the group and make it kind of of fun, maybe a little competitive. Um, you know, Susie just hit $500 in sales in her group. She's going to earn at least X, Y, and Z. You know, and kind of use your hostess group like you would um, with your team. So this is just a little tip that I have. You do not have to do it this way, but I know we're always looking at ways that we can make our um, online Facebook business better. So I'm going to show you this group and show you the little video that I made. I'm going to move me up here. Um, this is the, the, um, post that I have that I will tag them in when they first, on Monday morning, when they first come into the group, I will tag them in this quick little video. Um, and so I'll play this for you guys. Welcome to my hostess group. Thank you so much for being a hostess with me this week. I know we're going to have a lot of fun, and if we work together, we are going to earn you a lot of product. Free and half-off product, which is even better. Our hostess rewards program is incredible. You can earn anywhere from one to four half-off items, which includes collections and sets. Um, and you can also earn up to 10 to 16% um, in Y cash, which is cash back that will go 
onto your account. You have a year to use your Hostess Rewards, which is awesome, so you don't need to use them all at once. And if we work together, this can be an incredible experience, not just for you, but for your friends and family that are in the party group as well. So the way that this works is I will post a couple times a day, and I will tag you in one of the posts in this group um, a few times a day to remind you to get your um, your um, picture and your post up. When you post on Facebook, because your friends and family are the ones in your party group, they are going to see your post way before that they're going to see mine. So that's why if we work together and we both post, it will make the event um, so much more exciting and so much more fun, and your friends and family will see that you have opened up this event for them and that you're just as into it as I am, and I'm just not trying to sell, sell, sell to them. We're actually trying to um, teach them about the products, show them tips and tricks that will make their beauty um, routine easier and it will just go so wonderful okay so if you have any questions feel free to let me know and let's have some fun and if you don't know how to save a picture or to copy and paste um, let me know and I can walk you through that it's super duper simple it shouldn't take you more than two minutes um, to post in your party group and we're gonna rock this party all right have a wonderful day I'll talk to you soon bye so hopefully you kind of get the idea of what I've set up here. Um, again, on Sunday, you'll remove all of your hostesses from that week. Um, you'll help them kind of close out their parties in their party groups. And then you'll add your, your next set of hostesses on Monday morning, bright and early. And this will help you get into a routine as well. This is the kind of post that I'm having them do. I'm not having them do product or education posts. Um, I'm having them post about the, their friends and how they love makeup and, you know, just simple things. It's your last chance to order, um, you know, those kinds of things. And what I do is when it's their turn to post, you know, around the time, morning and afternoon, um, if I'm having them post twice a day, I will tag them in this post and say, hey, Susie Joe and Kelly Ann, make sure that you guys get your posts up today. I'm super excited. You're Feel free to make it personal to yourself. That way they have the chance to personalize it too. And this is not only going to um, help their party sales and help them actually get to um, the level that they want to earn hostess rewards, but it's also going to teach them how to be a presenter to see if it's something that they like or something that they feel like they could do as a business. So I hope this little um, tidbit has helped you um, and given you some fresh ideas to start off the new year. Have a wonderful day and let me know if you have any questions. Take care.